What up, Melvin7 here, and today I'm bringing you a FIFA 17 two-player pack opening. I'm going to be opening 30 of them, and I'm going to be showing you my quickest way for actually building these squads. Now, if you don't know, it's a squad builder challenge. I'm sure by now you probably do. I don't know when I'm uploading this video. Sorry if I'm quiet. I'll obviously up the volume, but you might be able to tell um, it's like four in the morning on release day of FIFA and I don't want to be too loud to wake up my flatmates but anyway it's this gold upgrade thing now I've spent a lot of FIFA points so I've stored every single non-rare into my club and uh, that's good to be honest because of this method now I've literally been going through like this um, and taking every single non-rare and just shifting them through the squad putting them in so uh, I've, I've done all the major leagues and uh, all I do is literally just click through and um, just put the players in since you only need 40 cam it really doesn't matter as long as they're from the same uh, league like these ones I can just put them in and they're gonna get 40 cam guaranteed and that's basically what I've been doing like look at how quick I've done this obviously you probably won't have the non rare players in your team unless you've got a squad builder so there you go 40 chemistry submit the squad and I get the uh, player pack now there probably was some Bundesliga players there that might sell for a bit but I'm not too bothered and I've literally just been clearing out my non rares and that's all you do you don't even have to have them in the right position I mean 40 chemistry it doesn't really matter I've got 30 of these player packs in the store so we're gonna see if they're worth it I'll probably see through discords doing 30 of this say 4k for each one so you're looking at 120,000 coins so if I can get players of a, a cumulative value of 120,000 coins of course they're untradeable but if their value matches that then it's worth it for me and um, yeah we'll see I mean I'll be very surprised if we don't get anything good and there you go there you go Carvajal I don't know how much he goes for and I can't really check unfortunately because he is untradeable but I'm pretty sure he's about 5 10 K and um, now I've got him in my club forever I don't need to buy a Carvajal oh <sighs> it would have been a walkout of course with uh, if it was Aguero but yeah Icardi and a Walcott there you go Walcott surely about 10k because of his pace Icardi a couple of k and uh, we're only three packs in and I've already packed a couple of players that I can use quite consistently and there you go there's another Kurt Zuma who's a very OP player I've got him for free I've already got him in my club so uh, I'm gonna send place him in the active squad send the other one to the transfer list same with Danny Ings because he goes for a lot uh, what am I doing um, I can send that one to oh for fuck's sake wait what send the club place on transfer list yeah there we go why didn't it just do that the first time I don't understand place my active squad please oh right it's because I don't want it in the active squad oh my god this is sorry about this no send a club oh. <sighs> don't worry I won't be doing this for every single one but um, yeah anyhow that's four into it now I'd be very surprised if I don't get an inform or a walkout player in this as we get Kala Chalalongu I can't say his name anyhow uh, Azuma again and I'm gonna have to discard that one purely because I've already got an untradeable one in my club so that's a little bit disappointing but uh, I'm sure he's a few thousand coins that I've missed out on on that I think that's I was gonna say Tyson but it's Bernard so yeah he's one that I get pretty regular okay I've already got rid of him we also got Hyde Barbo there but um, yeah I've used him in a score builder challenge I think Bernard which is why I don't have him in my club now the best possible one that could have been is Diego Costa because he is in a walkout but it's Iogo Aspas who actually looks as though he's got some decent stats. Um, it's it's died down a little bit um, from the start. I mean we haven't had anything absolutely out of the world out of this world yet. Right, this time send it to club. Send to club, place on transfer list. How was that so hard? Why was I clicking place an active squad? It's four in the morning. I'll, I'll use that as my excuse, right? Is that Digilabodji? No, it's not. It's uh, Koulibaly. Ooh. Okay. And Evra. Okay, that's actually a really good one. Um, that'll be good for my Serie A teams. Or hybrids, I suppose. But, um... Yeah. I'm, I'm going to predict 
that my highest rate play that I get in this is 86 um, which I take depending on which 86 rate player it is I suppose but considering these are ultimately free for me like I've just got rid of discard players so again we'll say about 4k Koyate he's actually OP so I'm quite happy to have him in the team um, you know what <laughs> a few you know a couple of k or whatever I'm, I'm for five seconds yeah I might as well do that um, so far though we haven't had as as big of players that I would have hoped we'd have had right I'm not going to do it for Bastos because I really don't care he'll go for discard um, how many do we have left 18 so we're almost halfway through um, I think the best player we've had is Walcott uh, ugh, that could have been Fernandinho he would have been good but I think it's Allen yeah Hmm. maybe he have uh, cottoned on to this and have reduced the rarity because obviously there's been ridiculous ones fuck's sake I saw right wing and then you think ugh, Sanchez but he's left wing we also get Gerard there um, he'll be useful actually for the um, MLS team thing um, that I'll be doing for Giovinco hoping David De Gea but of course he'll be a walkout uh, we get Victor Valdez and Dyer there so a couple of Premier League players um, so far again not as good of things as I would have hoped is that Perotti yep Perotti um, those will get Corrier Perotti goes for nothing so I'll, I'll just discard him and uh, we're over halfway now we haven't had anything amazing yet that could all change of course it just takes one pack um, Now, this is probably a video where you can decide for yourself if you're going to do it. Now, I was hoping that was company, but I'll take Seaman si or whatever the hell. Oh. <laughs> okay, okay, I will take I will take a Rashford, definitely. He's going for like 20k, and now I've got a free one, so I don't even have to pay that. That is brilliant, okay? I like that sort of player that, okay, that's a big one. That's a big one. It is. I said 86. I said we'd get an 86. You can tell by the star that comes out. Okay, this is looking up. We get a Miranda for free. Now, I'm sure he's probably cheap. Probably 7 to 10k at the minute. But still, it's a free player that I'm never going to have to buy. Which is good. Is that Berardi? Yep. So, we're having a string of good players here. Rashford. Uh, uh, ooh, I thought it was Martial there. But okay, Schneidlin. I'll take that. We're getting a few Man United players, obviously. Man United support. I'm happy to get them for free. Right, that looks... Is that Bella Robbie? No. It's her man. So, uh, yeah, we've got a 91 pace guy there. But uh, for Rashford, 20k, I can just sell the other one. And um, I'm, you know, in the money. Miranda, high-rated player. I was going to say Delefeo, but it's English. So, yeah, it couldn't have been Delefeo. It's Aaron Lennon. Um, if we don't get anything higher than the Miranda, then I did actually correctly predict what the highest one would be. Ugh. You look at that and you think, oh, Griezmann, but he's a walkout, so uh, it couldn't be Griezmann. It was, in fact, Gamero. Um, for starter teams, that might actually be good. But, uh, yeah, Miranda, Rashford, sure, we've had a couple of other ones. Now, why couldn't that be right wing and be a walkout? And then probably be Di Maria. But, uh, you know, obviously Messi is the one you want. Um, are we going to get an inform or a walkout? I'm quite surprised at the minute that we haven't, considering we've had 30. We've had some very good players, but I don't think we've had 110k's worth. So maybe what I was saying at the start, maybe it isn't actually worth it value-wise. But I don't know, maybe I've just been unlucky. Still got five left, of course. All right, that's a big one. Well, 84, Arda Turan, so it was kind of a high-rated player. Uh, we also get Berkey. Um, I'll take that. I will probably use him quite a bit. Um, that looks like a big one again. Is that Koscielny? It's Varan. There you go. That's another 20k, but well, he's not actually. He's like 7k, isn't he? But uh, still, I can sell the other one in my club and um, get rid of that one. And then I never have to buy Varane again, so that's useful for me. Um, it's obviously more useful for people who have a lot of things in their club, because 
you know, if you're storing things in your club, then obviously you can get the value back of the player that you get for free here, and then you never have to buy them again, which is good. Right, I'm hoping we end off with a bang. Is that Castro? I've got Inform Castro, which I'll probably end up selling. But, um, yeah, that's another Borussia Dortmund player. So we're on to the final one here. Hopefully it can be a big player. It doesn't look like it has been, but it could be a high-value player. Is that an 83? No, it's an 82 Pereira. But it could be someone else in the pack. Highly doubt it, but there could be. Danny Drinkwater, you know what? That's, that's not too bad. So overall... Value wise again, is it worth it if you're not spending a ton on FIFA points and you've got an abundance of non-rare players? It can be, it can be, but it's not always guaranteed to be. So, you know, since it's untradeable, it balances itself out. But for someone like me who had an abundance of non-rares, I'd prefer to get rid of them instead of discarding them and then get some untradeable players like that Rashford, like the Miranda, and a couple of other decent players that we got, Walcott, etc. So, um, yeah, I've enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. Is it worth it in the comment section? Hopefully you have enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. And, yeah, peace.